Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I apologize for the glare on here. I'm doing this at night, so I have my lights on up above, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll, get, we'll get rid of that as soon as I open this. Um, this is a, a video to see those of us who work with markers, we all seem to be on the hunt for that elusive ultra fine tip alcohol marker. Uh, the vast majority of us use strictly either Sharpie ultra fine tips or Bic ultra fine tips or now Amazon Basic came out with a fine and an ultra fine tip. Although last time I looked the ultra fine tip was no longer available. I haven't looked recently though. That was last week when I looked. So I don't know if Amazon Basic ultra fine is back available again on Amazon or not. But those were the few that I knew of that were alcohol based. Um, ultra fine tip markers. Now I did see these at uh, Walmart and uh, they're by Timeless Creations. It says ultra fine line markers and it said that they were permanent markers. Now when I hear the term permanent markers I think alcohol based. Whether that's going to be true or not I don't know. I have not tested them out yet. Um, they are actually by Crazy Art. If you've seen Timeless Creations coloring books, um, things like that, they are all by Crazy Art. So this is the front of the box. Then on the back it does show some of their coloring books. You may be familiar with that. They have a bunch of different gel pens. They have colored pencils. They have a lot of different things. Okay, now the thing that I liked about these is it came in this really nice hard plastic case with this flip top. And I see I got some sticky tape over here to take off. Okay, <laughs> I think that was originally on the front. Now, like I said, I have not looked at these yet, so I'm going to be curious to see if they are truly permanent markers or not, meaning alcohol based, or whether they're going to be water based. So, look at all these pretty colors though. Even if they are going to end up being water based, um, I'm hoping they're going to be, uh, you know, that the tips here are going to be reminiscent, accurately reminiscent of the actual colors inside because they're, they're kind of pretty. Um, so let's take a look at what they look like. So you'll see that they come in this black matte, well no not matte, kind of shiny um, barrel and then it has gold lettering on them and it says Crazy Art Timeless Creations Ultra Fine Permanent Marker. Um, the cap has the color code here or not code, the color that's inside the marker here and on the tip, kind of in a star shape. I don't know if you can see that or not with my lighting tonight, probably not. But uh, And then also the other end is also color coded. You can maybe see it better if I got a brighter color, right? <laughs> so we have it there, we have it here. So when you take the cover off, you have this end too so that you always know what color it is. Because of course with our more budget friendly uh, coloring materials there is not a color name or number on these unfortunately. But let's swatch these out and our first thing to find out is are they going to be alcohol based? The other things that I found on Amazon these are, um, is these permanent markers. It is a set of 30. It says 30 assorted colors of ultra fine point markers. Permanent ink marks on almost all surfaces. Versatile ultra fine point provides extremely precise control. Here again it says ultra fine point. These are by Shuttle Art which I'm sure we are all familiar with. They, Shuttle Art has a lot of different coloring supplies and art supplies. Quick drying, waterproof, UV resistant. And when I seen waterproof, I thought, hmm, 
Okay. Smear proof and fade resistant. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed because here could be an additional 30 colors. And we have quite a number of browns in here, I see. So it would be nice if these are alcohol based. All right, let me grab a piece of paper here. And I'm just going to grab these in the order that they are um, in the case. So we do have a little hole down in the bottom. I don't know if you can possibly see that or not. Yeah, maybe a little. Um, that holds each of the marker very nice and securely. So like I said, if nothing else, I do like this case. So here we go. Let's keep our fingers crossed. With it being crazy art, I'm... Even though it says, you know, permanent marker, I'm kind of thinking maybe now that I got them, um, they're going to be water-based. But this is, let's get on camera, Lisa, now that I'm zoomed in. This is your typical um, ultra fine tip, your fine liner tip. It's got the metal, you know, tip to it. And then the, the coloring tip coming out of the metal tip. Does that make sense? Um, Okay, the uh, covers do uh, fit on the ends of the markers, so that's kind of nice. I know some of us really look to that. Um, they have a nice feel to them, though. Um, I like the barrel. The barrel is, you know, thinner, but it's very comfortable. <gasps> Here's the test. Now, these are water base. <laughs> They're very pretty. Um, and as you can see, they are extremely fine, but they are water-based. Darn. At least it seems, let me look at it a little closer. Yeah, that's, that's water-based. And I could kind of just feel that it's water-based, but that's okay. Let's, let's swatch them out anyhow. So here we have a pretty pink. They are nice and juicy, though. And let's see, we have a red. So yeah, you could find these at any of your Walmarts or they are also online. I will leave a link to them down below um, if they're not available at your Walmart. There's a pretty orange. They are very nice and bright. Here is a yellow. Kind of a yellow orange, I should say. Not, not a total bright yellow, because that's the next one. Is a nice bright yellow. So I think what I would do with these, just like I do to all my other fine liners and markers that don't have color names or numbers on them, I just take either my label maker, if I really want to be nice and neat, or I just take one of these small labels that I have, write a number on it, put it on here. Typically put a piece of scotch tape over it too, because many times if you just put the label on there, it comes back off. <coughs> Excuse me. Here is a like lime green. Oh, these are very pretty colors though. Okay, and then we have a regular green. Boy, these are really fine line. I don't think it says the width of the tip. Let me look. Unless it said it online, I'm not sure. Um, okay, we have a light blue. Pretty sky blue. There's a number of blues in here, but they, of course, don't put them together. <laughs> Here's a kind of a, probably, I think it's the darkest blue out of the set, yeah. Kind of an indigo. Oh, I got a tickle in my throat. Mm. Here is a lighter purple. Oh, 
Ooh, that's pretty. Kind of like a lilac. For a smaller set, there's actually three purples. Yeah. <coughs> Let me take a drink here quick. Oh, I hate it when I get that tickle in my throat. So here's another purple. Gold purples. Nice. Love that color. Okay, then we have one that actually looks like a skin tone. It looks like um, a peach. Which is nice. You don't always see that in your fine line sets. And that is, it's a nice peach color. Nice. Especially in a smaller set like this. Because like I said, there's 30 in this set. So here's, I don't know, looks kind of like a coral color. Yeah, kind of orangey, but yet more coral. The uh, caps are actually pretty representative of the color inside. Then we have a pink. You know, <laughs> what's on here, you can't see it in the camera, I don't think. But it almost looks like a paw print. Because <laughs> it looks like the pad of the foot and then there's three dots up above it. So it, it does. It looks like a like a doggy paw print or something. Kind of funny. Okay, that's a nice bright. Yeah, it's kind of a coral also. But more on the pink side. Then we have what looks like to be kind of a pinkish purple. I'm liking this set. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Now this one kind of looks like a deep pink or a berry kind of. Very pretty colors. Yeah, this is, see like I said, they're, they're very, very close to the color on the tips. Here's a real dark, dark, is this supposed to be the black? Yeah, I thought it was a dark green, but no, it is the black. Oh, yeah. Okay. Then we have a brown. There are two browns in this set. This is one of them. It's a lighter brown. Then we have a, like a red brown here. If it goes according to the cap. Yes. Okay. Then the last row looks like a deep red. Let's move it up just a tad. Yep. And a regular green. We had the spring greens up above. Here is your standard green. And then what appears to be a, a blue green or a teal kind of aqua. Oh, very pretty. And your regular blue. We had a pretty sky blue and an indigo up above. And now we have a regular, a little bit on the lighter side though. So this would go really well with the sky blue up here. And this one, that's pretty. I could see these in like a your finer mandalas and, and things like that. And then we have just your standard regular blue. When I'm, some of these look like they're maybe dry, but they're not. I'm, I'm trying to color at an angle here. And uh, so I'm not getting necessarily right on the tip, but they are nice and juicy. And then we have two shades of gray. 
No, not 50 shades of gray. Two shades of gray. <laughs> Here's a lighter gray. Uh, oh, yeah. It's late at night. Forgive me. Okay, and then we have a darker gray. Not a whole lot darker, but somewhat darker. Then we have three more greens. Holy cow. So that means there's four, five, six, seven greens in this set. Wow. Here is an olive green. Okay, and then really deep, dark, what looks to be a forest green. Yep. And last but not least is a little bit of a darker green than your standard green. Because here was our regular green, and then this one looks to be a little bit darker than that. So yeah, a lot of greens in this set. I wish I would have had them all together, but it looks like they started out with the bright colors and then ended up with the dark, although black is here in the middle, but. So, even though they are water-based, I think they are a very nice set. Let's zoom back out. Let's look at these colors. Let's zoom out a little more. Um, yeah, I think they are really pretty colors. Look at all them. Isn't that gorgeous? That's so pretty. We all love colors, don't we? Yeah, for a set of 30, like I said, even though they are water-based, um, really pretty colors, and they are nice and juicy. So yeah, I will link them from the uh, Walmart site um, if you want to pick them up and if they're not in your store, in your Walmart store. So again, that was, and they come in this nice case. And this flips up. So yeah, nice. Again, by Timeless Creations, which is a subsidiary of Crazy Art. Okay, let's go on to these. I am holding out the big hopes for these because they closely resemble our other alcohol-based uh, ultra-fine tip. So let's open them up. Here is the back. Um, it says you can also follow us by social media to learn more products, promotions, and giveaways. So they have their Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter accounts here. Um, you get an ebook or a color chart is available via 24-7 service email box or directly download from our website. They have their email here and they have their website. I went on their website to see if there was a downloadable color chart for this. And all I found was, because Shuttle Art has a number of other sets of markers, some large sets, which I do have, um, and there was no nothing that I could find that was uh, downloadable that you could color in as far as a color chart. So I'll be making up my own as usual. All right, so let's open this up. And I should have brought a little knife along. Oh, geez, Lisa. I don't know if uh, scissors will do it or not. Why, sure it will. Lucky there. Okay, now. Let's keep our fingers crossed on this one. Because the reason why I really went on the hunt is I had an individual in a previous video ask me the question, are there any other alcohol-based fine liners besides the Bic and the Sharpies? So I did tell her about the Amazon Basics, um, and then I told her that I did have a couple of things coming. Um, that I was testing out in regard to alcohol base, so I was going to let her know. So hopefully she will see this video. All right, so here are all your gorgeous colors. 
and uh, I think what I'm going to do, and it just comes in this, you know, flimsy plastic case, so I'm going to put it in with my other markers. Of course, hopefully, the alcohol markers. I'm going to start with the lightest color, kind of go in the order that I normally go. And again, as usual, there is no um, color name or number on here. It just says Shuttle Art Permanent Marker. Shows a little fine tip there. It says Ultra Fine Point UV Resistant Waterproof. Conforms to that ASTM, and ASTM code. And then it just says www.shuttleart.com. Okay, so the tip of it, you know, everything, the case-wise, looks real similar to Sharpies. Let's see the tip. Nice, ultra-fine tip. And it does look like our Sharpie and Bic ultra-fines. Fingers crossed. Let's see. Oh, guess what, folks? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. These are alcohol-based. Because on, on uh, Amazon, and I will, as usual, link these down below, it didn't really say that they were alcohol-based. So I wasn't sure, seeing as how the other markers here said permanent marker and they're water-based. Uh, I wasn't sure. So there we have the yellow. Let me zoom you in. Okay. We have the yellow. Oh, we found some new alcohol-based ultra-fine tips. And uh, these feel real nice, too. It's a nice, you know, plastic, uh, very, uh, like I said, reminiscent of uh, our Sharpies, the, th the thinner Sharpies. So here we have a red, kind of a, a red-orange, I should say. And here we have a regular red. Oh, I'm so excited now. Yay. So I'm going to be numbering these also. Um, and uh, putting some labels on them. Let's go to some pinks. Here's a light pink. Oh, I like that. And this looks to be a very bright pink. Oh, yes. So far, they seem nice and juicy. Wow, we have a number of purples. Woohoo! This one looks more like a berry colored, but otherwise, in a set of 30, it looks like we have four purples. Woohoo! So, <laughs> you tell I'm excited. I found another ultra fine tip alcohol marker. Okay, so that's a nice dark pink. Now that one doesn't exactly match the the cap. The other ones were pretty close. I guess it is close, isn't it? Okay, let's go for this color. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> Very pretty. Okay, let's go for... Yeah, let's show you the tip where you can't hardly see anything. Go for the lavender or lilac. Gorgeous. Now, the thing <laughs> I have noticed, you know, this is your typical plastic, but where you kind of color with, this is very, uh, it almost feels like it's wet because, <laughs> because it's, uh, it's more slippery. It's more slick of a plastic down here than it is up here. I don't know how to describe it. But yeah, it's a very uh, slippery plastic down here. So yeah, the first time I did that, it almost felt, I thought it was wet or something, <laughs> but it's not. It's hard to describe. All right, and then we have kind of an orchid purple. Okay, and we have a dark purple. Now, I kind of wish we had something in between here, though. But again, what do you expect from a set of 30? Let's go on to the blues. That's a green. Okay. 
let's take a sky blue. Am I still on camera? Yeah. Pretty. Um, let's go with the little bit lighter blue. And then our standard blue. Now they don't have like a midnight blue or an indigo, but then they have these beautiful shades of the aquas and teals. So let's try these three. Pretty. And then this one. Now this one looks absolutely gorgeous. It looks like a really dark, deep teal color. So I'm hoping. <laughs> oh, it is. Beautiful. Yeah, they are all very close to the color on the caps. So yeah, so far so good. Let's go to the greens. And there are four greens. Let's go from light to dark here. So there's a nice um, array of the green tones. So let's start with the light one. Move you up. Let, sorry for my arm here. I want to get them off to the side so I can move my paper up. So here is a very light green, like a chartreuse. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have kind of a lime green. We have our standard green. And then we have our darker green. Nice! I am liking this. Okay, let's get all the rest of them out of this case here. And then the black one is on this end. Okay, so, like I said, we have a bunch of browns. Look at all these browns. Wowzers. Six browns in a set of 30. That's pretty darn good. Some of them look to be on the reddish brown side. Matter of fact, these two caps seem just about identical. This one's just a tad darker, but yeah, very, very similar. So we'll see what the color is that comes out of them. Okay, so let's try this light brown. Looks almost like a real deep orange. So there's no tan, you know, in this set. Okay, which is unfortunate. Many of our sets do not have tans. Let's try uh, this one. Looks like it's kind of on the greenish brown side. Yep, boy, they the caps are spot on, I tell ya. <laughs> and let's try these red browns. So this is this one which, like I said, they this one looks a little bit darker. Like one is maroon and one is cranberry or something. Like they're real deep reds, but they were with the browns. Okay, so that's this one. Let's keep that one right there. That was this one. And then we have uh, this one. So let's see if there's any difference. There is. This one's quite a bit darker. This one is more like a cranberry. It's definitely got the red in it. So it's like a, this is kind of like a brick brown. And yeah, this is more on the raspberry type side. So I would almost say this is more of a dark red than a brown. But you, you do see it, you know, with the browns too. So here is your standard brown. That, that would be, I guess, a wine red is what I'm thinking of. And here's your standard brown. 
and here is a dark brown. Okay, nice array of browns. Then we have a light and a darker uh, gray. And our darker gray. Nice. And then finally our black. And let's see if it's a nice black black. Yeah, it's pretty good. I I mean, it's it's a good I guess I've seen some that are a little bit darker black than that, but it's it's, you know, it's a it's a good black. Just not quite as I don't know how to describe it. Not quite as deep of a black as some of the others that I have seen. Put it that way, I guess. But it's a definite black. So, really nice. I am excited. All right, well, let's zoom you in a little bit. Okay, let's look at these colors. Look at all of these beautiful um, progression of colors from the yellow, the orange, the red, orange, red. So those four are nice. You don't always get, you know, each of these, you don't always get that red, orange and stuff in there to progress from uh, the yellow to the red couple nice pinks in here purples <laughs> we have a few nice shades of blue and our aqua teals nice greens too these four greens and then all of the browns again I I don't know if I would put that up by the red I guess not that would probably stay in with the browns but then we do have you know a couple of our grays and then our black Wow, what an awesome set of 30. I think the array of colors is perfect. Spot on. Um, I guess because of this down here, it'd be nice to have maybe a little bit of a deeper red. Not a lot, but you know what I mean. Um, maybe a dark blue. You know more of an indigo there there is not a dark blue um but other than that you know and like i said tan there's no tan and no there's no skin tones in here i really wasn't expecting skin tones in this set so i guess i wasn't disappointed in that arena but yeah very very happy with this so that is my review and demo of, oh, let's see what's in here. You get a little card. Ah, oh, it's a thank you card. Isn't that cute? Dear customer, we really appreciate you for choosing our products. Thank you is not enough to show our gratitude. We hope you are satisfied with our products and service. If not, please give us a chance to improve. Contact us at, and it has their email. We'd like to provide 15% off for your second purchase. Please contact, and then it gives the um, email account again to get your 15% off code. Okay, very nice. And then their social media information again. So well, that's kind of nice. All right, so yeah, we have the Shuttle Art Ultra Fine Point markers, which are alcohol based. Now that we know that, sorry for my arm again. And then we have the Timeless Creations uh, set of 30, which are water-based, but still very nice. I like them both, um, but especially happy about the alcohol ones because I use them more than the water-based. I have a lot of water-based um, fine liners and uh, not as many of the ultra fine tip alcohol markers which i do color with more um so yeah um i thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it again i'll leave links to both of these these are from amazon 
um, and these are from Walmart. So I will leave links to both of those down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe if you are new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a terrific day and as always happy coloring. Bye guys.